hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel and if you're new here my name is esther Mofri. so in today's video i want to show you how to master breakout trading strategy so if you're interested if you know if you want to know how do you trade consolidation how do you trade a breakout continue watching and if you have not subscribed to my youtube channel kindly subscribe to my youtube channel give this video a big thumbs up and without wasting any time let's get down into the video so how do we master a breakout strategy it's very simple all you need to identify is a consolidation market identify uh the zones the zones i mean the resistance and the support and then pay attention on price market so the first thing you identify you identify the zone the zone i mean the price action uh, you identify the zone the zones i mean you identify your resistance you identify your your support and you identify and then the last thing you identify price action so the first thing we need to identify the key level that's our zones and then the first uh let's identify the zone on this market so this is a resistance um our a resistance i'm trying to draw our resistance so that you understand what i'm talking about so first you identify your key level this is your resistance so after we have identified our resistance you can even mark it this is our resistance our resistance that's one of the key level that we have on this consolidation market and this is what will help you to be able to master or identify a breakout opportunity and then the other thing you need to identify is your support where is this market hitting multiple times you can see this market is hitting multiple times at this area of 79 19 uh 1791 so this is our support so you can um identify our support again identify your resistance you identify your support remember this is a key level it's like a zone because the many times the market has hit your resistance and the make many times the market has hit your support is what makes you a want to even take advantage on the breakout because you know whatever side the market will break out to it will break out with a force and it will give you more pips and you'll take advantage of the market so if we can start identifying how how much or how many how many times the market has has uh touched our resistance you can just draw with a cut our tool that's two and then here it's three then we have another four even if it didn't touch then we have here five so so the market touched our resistance five times then how many times did the market touch the price touch our support so we have we have five like the price was touching our support so many times and this is giving you an indication that this market will eventually break either upward or downward because at this moment we can't tell if our market is up uptrend or downtrend is in consolidation and it was it tried to touch at this point so you can see how many times it touched up how many times it touched down this gives you the guarantee that this market eventually it will break either the resistance will be broken or the support will be broken and this strategy is identify the side that will be broken to take advantage the other thing that can help you to identify the breaking or the market is in in consolidation you can use 20 ema so if i uh, enable my 20 ema you can see the price the 20 ema is the red line you can see the price was cutting through the red line so the in the minute the price is cutting through the red line it means the market is on consolidation and there are people who prefer not to trade a consolidation market and because this is a higher time frame the difference between the support and the resistance is a hundred pips there are those people who can have a strategy of if it hits the demand 
which is the support i will sell if it hit our supply which is our resistance I'll, I'll, uh, if it hits our support i'll buy if it hits our resistance i will sell there are people who do that strategy and they get 50 to 70 pips and it's good but in this strategy i'm showing you how to trade the breakout how do we even trade the breakout and the first price action is this the high low that was made remember guys when the sellers were given an opportunity they were able they were supposed to make a lower high lower high it means the the sellers have pushed market lower than the previous sellers the previous place so they push the market lower than this place if they did that the sale could have been supported but guess what they didn't do that actually they created a high low and when they start creating a high low uh, the market starts, uh, you, you forget about selling in this market. First of all, if a market structure has a high low, forget about sell opportunity. So what you can do in this case, you just take your trend line, take your trend line and try to connect where the sellers are taking this price. Try to connect. And as you can see, the sellers are trying to push this market really hard, but every time they are making a high low, they cannot remove the previous low. And this gives us uh, an indication that the sellers are getting defeated. So the other thing, after now you have put your trend line, you have an indication that sellers are being defeated but even if sellers are being defeated when buyers when buyers push the market they are creating high highs but there's something else happened when these buyers pushed the market here um they didn't they didn't uh when they pushed the market here they didn't create a high high so the sellers took the market down created a, a high low again, never remove this low. And then the sellers, the buyers entered the market, created a high, high. So at least the buyers were trying to show more commitment and they were pushing the market even higher. So they pushed the market even higher, creating a high, high, high than this. And then sellers were given a chance to push the market. What happened? they pushed the market they created a lower high a high low again they never removed this low low so at this moment you understand that the sellers are getting weaker and weaker and weaker so the moment uh the buyers took in and they created a high high so at this moment we have high highs and we have an indication that if we continue with the same momentum the buyers will eventually break this resistance but there's something um something happened and this is where now we start to see uh if we'll have a sell opportunity or a buy opportunity. When the, the sellers again pushed the market, touched our trend line, never took the market lower than our previous low, but the buyers came in and created a low high. So the minute the buyers are coming and they refuse to create a high high, what you do, you create a trend line. I don't know if guys are understanding, Price action is what will make you know where the market or where the breakout will come in. So when the buyers tried again to push the market up, they didn't they didn't manage. So what happens? You take your trend line again, connect these buyers with this the first buyers with these buyers, and then you you connect like that. And now we have created another trend line. Let me cancel. Let me try to cancel these arrows so that you can see what I'm talking about. So the price pushed up, sellers pushed down, but these buyers didn't uh, were in, unable to create a high high. They created a low high. So that means that um, the buyers are getting into a consolidation and the market is getting into a, a tight consolidation. So when you have something like this, you have, you have 
sellers, there's, there's a, a trend line that is acting as a support and buyer, there's a, a trend line that is acting as resistance. So you can see the minute buyers even trade again and they touched the, the resistance, which is our trend line, they got they, the, the market reacted and you can see this last sellers. So in this case, in this case, what we just want to see is who will break this two line. This is our tight trend line, a tight consolidation where we want to see which market is it buyers will break or sellers will break. The minute you put a, a tight trend line, you have now say whoever breaks in, I'm in. And then now you can put a buy limit or a buy order, whatever you want to call it. At this point, you want to put it here. So and say if it breaks up, I'll just buy. If it breaks down, I'll just sell. If you don't want to put a buy order or a buy limit, whatever, you just wait. If it breaks, you can get in and you can imagine it broke with all these many pips. That's how you identify a breakout strategy. That's how you identify or you master a breakout trading strategy. All you need to identify is the the, tra the the zones, the key zones, two key zones, identify your support, your resistance. Then you start identifying the price action. Actually, in this whole structure, what has guided us is the price action. What is the price acting? Even if the buyers seem to have won, when they reached here, it's like they were becoming weaker. But when we drew a tight trend line, it was guiding us. And if we can even put our 20 EMA, you can see eventually the price broke the 20 EMA and it became above. So those, it came above 20 EMA. So people, those people who trade even the 20 EMA, they wait for the candle to be above 20 EMA. They could have entered with this they could have placed the order with this that candle because the that candle was clearly above the 20 EMA. So looking at all these things and everything that is uh, the buyer was getting supported. And uh, if we check all this, this is almost 500 pips. And such a setup, you are very confident because it if it breaks, it goes with 500 pips for like a day or two days. It just gives you so many pips in just a few days. So guys, I hope you have understood this concept. It's very easy. Try to go through it. Try to identify the resistance. If you see, how do you identify a consolidation? Is where the price has been hit or going the same place so many times. Identify your key zones, that's resistance support, and then start analyzing the price action. What is the price doing at that particular time? Master high highs, high lows for buys, master low lows and low highs for sell. And then use trend line to know or to be, to have the fourth confluence of the market. So guys, I hope you have uh, enjoyed the video. I hope it was helpful. So without uh, any further ado, that's the end of our video. Don't forget to like this video. If you have not subscribed, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you guys. See you later.